Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Friday, May 13th edition of the Contributor Comms. We're going to go with that now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're working on a name change there. Um, the Contributor Comms team. We are part of the CNCF, which means that we follow a code of conduct, which basically says be respectful to your fellow speakers and attendees and generally be excellent to each other. Uh, so we often start off with new folks having an opportunity to introduce themselves. Frederico, before we started recording, your sound was a little weird, but give it a shot <laughs> if you would like to introduce yourself. <laughs> Is it still weird? No. Nope. No. Sounds fine. good now. <laughs> yeah, I've killed a couple of us, so it should be better now. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> absolutely. So uh, I'm I'm here because. Um, on here by, by Kathleen uh, when I uh, volunteered for some of the work being done on the Twitter uh, preparation for KubeCon stage. Um, I, I personally currently work at the SAS, previously IBM, um, and previously I've started the open source then project, etc. Um, large part of my uh, day, day life as a project uh, today. So um, I wanted to be uh, more involved in terms of the community. So I started to look into things that I could be of assistance with and could learn. So some, some of them are code related, others are more um, communication related. So that's how I ended up here. Ended up here. I think you broke up a little bit during that uh, before you said previously at IBM. So where you're at now, I think we missed. SAS Institute, okay. SAS. <laughs> like yeah. software as SAS a service? Institute and then, yes, no, 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 no. <laughs> SAS, the yeah. analytics company in North Carolina, Riley. Oh yeah. Yeah. We used to live there. We used to drive by it all the time. Yep, also used to live there. I don't know if I drove by it all the yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then you said that you use Kubernetes a lot, right? Thank you. Well, well, use it's a it's a strange word to to use for Kubernetes. Essentially, <laughs> in my uh, last decades, most of the things that I've done professionally and even on, on a more uh, personal level in terms of programming end up being uh, gravitating towards uh, Kubernetes. Uh, um, and so I I I I started to investigate how I could. Uh, to some useful things uh, in the community because I, I used to be very, very much involved uh, in uh, a decade ago around uh, open source and free, free software. So Free Software Foundation, uh, Debian, new project, etc. Still uh, related to some of those projects, but why not um, uh, be involved in something that is so crucially a part of my day-to-day -day life. So that's uh, started around two, three, three weeks ago, looking into some uh, stuff that I like. And uh, by chance, I found the, the need to, to, to help out with Twitter. And that was a good way for me to, to go to the, to the agenda and learn a bit more about some of the projects as well. Wonderful. So glad yeah. you're here. I love the KubeCon tweets as a learning tool. I definitely learn a lot every year when I do them. Awesome. So thank you so much for joining. I think that's the thank only you for having me. So I guess we'll move on into our agenda. Was there any other questions or comments for Frederica? <laughs> no, but I might somebody might come to the next meeting that might be interested in helping us with creating NCW content. So I don't know where that stands. <laughs> I ping Josh Burkus. Uh, one but... of the things I feel guilty about. Yeah, same. Um <laughs> I don't. I don't remember where that project stands. Like, were we outsourcing? I don't think it? anyone does. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. All right. In that case, I, I will continue uh, asking this person to come to our meeting and hooking him up with Josh or whoever is the owner of that right now. And speaking of our next meeting, you all may have seen, and I apologize for the confusion with this meeting being canceled for this week. <laughs> but I asked for the meeting to be canceled next week because we'll be at KubeCon and the week after because at least I'll be out on vacation. 
a lot of folks take that week off to recover from KubeCon. Yeah. Um, so I figured Chris might be out as well, which it sounds like he is. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually taking the Monday off after and working a three day work week and then taking a vacation. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll skip the next two weeks, but we'll be back um, that week that is half May, half June. <laughs> I keep wanting to say like the first week of June, but it's not but the first not. full week of June. So that's confusing. <laughs> and it's not really, it is the last week of May, but it's not a full week. Yeah. So yeah. The, the weird half and half week. <laughs> we'll be back during that. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, yeah. So that's an update to cover. I'll add that to the notes. We're out the next two weeks. Any other updates or big wins from folks? Paris told us we are going to ask for a third party team to handle the new contributor workshop. That sounds like a good plan because, who, buddy, has that not gone well? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask Paris real quick just to even available no <laughs> what a question either she's flying <laughs> or she's speaking or, yeah. flying speaking mentoring new folks doing mm -hmm. open source work doing work work <laughs> which are kind of the same thing for her a lot of the time paris is always doing some anyway so no other updates big wins at the moment We'll move on to new items. Did anyone see any new work come in? I don't think so. Aside from our ongoing projects, having to work with them. I didn't see new work. To, yeah. Right. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm totally behind on Contributor Summit comms. Oh, Pretty geez. sure I've dropped something there, but we'll go over that in a minute. <laughs> Well, then Actually, I don't know. One out. No, I think you did good on contributor comps. Like I was watching over everything. It was okay. You did good. Cool. <laughs> um, there are a couple of open items that need to go out before the event, I think. And I know are I haven't there? done them and it's Friday. So we'll go over it in a minute. <laughs> okay. We should go events, over it on though. Tuesday. So uh let's just go through our table then i guess actually i don't think we have a table item for that we should probably add one we'll do that as we go through the first act was sent right? yeah it was yeah. that was okay. not us so we're good on that um i'm gonna have to like <laughs> find those notes <laughs> i got them you do okay yeah I keep you can send the link to the group. <laughs> There's the the communique for. I guess that's kind of like a new item since it's not in our tracking list right now. Yes, it is a, technically a new item, and also it's kind of like pulling in contributor summit. Yeah, stuff that's true. Into this marketing side, so it makes sense. We're gonna add that to our notes. Not like, to be honest, in a perfect world, all of these emails would go out via marketing but we don't necessarily have a mechanism but we are an open source project yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so uh we haven't talked about this uh document in oh this is the email document what about the other oh, which document what i was thinking one? of the other one that tracks everything that i made the other one that tracks everything that's right yeah i'll find it um, but that's still an interesting one for folks to see. Uh, mm -hmm. so that doc that we've shared is where we're tracking. Oh, and I still didn't do the Slack bot message kind of late for that at this point. Josh still wanted it though. Oops. Damn. That's the thing. <laughs> I knew there was something. <laughs> is it too uh, late? I mean, can we say so now? I mean, we could do it. We have the weekend. People might do stuff while they're traveling to KubeCon. But we could do it. <laughs> I mean, hey, to be honest with you, that, right? I'm, I'm, let's go look at the let's go look at the schedule real quick. Wow, it's actually kind of full. So there's only three slots left. Yeah, he said it was pretty much good. So I thought he didn't need it anymore, but he said he still wanted it. It's so weird. It doesn't he, seem super essential. Yeah, I think if he, 
I also don't actually know how to do a Slack bot message. It's I think just we a slash command. That. Yeah. Okay, so that's if right. you do <laughs> slash, it should just pop up announcement bot. Like all the things you can do with it should pop up. An announcement bot should be in there for you. Well, he has the Slack bot message in the link that you sent. Oh, he does? Yeah, so oh, we I'll could just do that. that right now. Oh, Get something done. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Let me, uh, find yeah, because that, that was kind of awkward. It kind of got missed because I had it in the doc where I was tracking everything in the tweets section. <laughs> Oops. Um, and now it's in this other doc where we're tracking all the emails that need to be sent out. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Announcement bot. Post message. Sig Slack Blast. I see you've got it. Yeah. Oh, God. It makes me do it per channel. <gasps> Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Can I select multiples? I find it so funny that we've had this tool for how long and neither of us know. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's allowing me to put in multiples, but it's it's okay. sad. You can't just be like sig all or something, right? Mm-hmm. Like six flat. <laughs> I think like that could and be it's only It only mentions the ones that I've joined. This is... Oh, oh no, it doesn't. It's all of them. Okay. <laughs> I think. I mean, sig... API machinery is even in there. I don't know why it would be in that. Node swap, I've never even heard of that. Okay, cool. I'll get it right now. Someone who I work with at work, you know, work with at work, (laughs) is um, fairly new to the Kubernetes space, just sent me a message about Kubernetes terminology being funny. Yes. It's amusing. (laughs) Confusing, Uh too. I don't know. Once you get it, you get it. But Yeah. I don't think I need to hit the meetings channel. Uh, Anyway. (laughs) So I put another link into our notes. <laughs> Let me grab that link again and put it in the chat as well. So the first link that Chris sent is where we've been tracking and drafting emails to be sent to the mailing list, which by the way, I thought there was some probably some kind of fancy process to send things to the mailing list. Turns out there is not at all. You just, you just send to it. <laughs> send it <laughs> as I know. yourself. It was, when I first started doing them, it was like super awkward. It's like, wait. I just send it. Yep. Like from my account. <laughs> Same. Yes, totally. Had that experience like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> mm-hmm. I did not uh, know I could do that. So that's yeah. what that doc is. You can see all of the emails. Some of them are like old from LA that we never really used for this one. And some of them we updated and used for this one. So it's kind of a weird combination of materials at this point. Uh but we also have some information about in there about like, is everything sent and updated and all of that. And the second link that I just sent is a doc that I came up with while we were trying to figure out what all we actually needed to do <laughs> and track it. Um, so it has a more complete list. Um, there's still a SIG meet and greet email that uh, he, Josh wanted us to send out. I have no idea what to say about the meet and greet, honestly. <laughs> a chance to um, meet and greet. Six. Yeah, if you're interested in <laughs> learning more about where you can contribute in the Kubernetes community, join the SIG meet and greet. And it's actually That's a good really good way awesome. to phrase it. Yeah. It, I mean, my first SIG meet and greet, like I was just helping people land in certain places and I had a lot of fun, right? Like I just stood at the door and they were like, I want to learn more about off that table over there yeah my first one was the one in LA where I sat at the contributor experience table with you and Josh (laughs) we just kind of hung out (laughs) Josh and I made Uh, tweets during that one yeah you did Mm -hmm. (laughs) it was good good times getting work done (laughs) um I don't know if there's a virtual component to the meet and greet is it only in person I think it's only in person I think it is only no I think we're doing nothing virtual for I could be wrong I, but for contributor activities because yeah that's hard. <laughs> it's hard and it's like the CNCF contributor summit doesn't have a virtual has bent over kind of backwards to make 
everybody feel included this week if you haven't heard mm -hmm. like there's been a lot of visas being declined this week so a lot yeah. of people are having to convert their in-person talk into a recorded talk in a matter of 24 hours and cncf is handling that very gracefully so that is good wow. yeah. that's very good mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i was surprised really they were sad. like no big make it a video get it to us as soon as you can it's like wow that's awesome <laughs> Well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so things that we still have outstanding for the Contributor Summit, though, we need to send that meet and greet email as well as the Slack bot blast, which we're working on already. Apparently, um, it's not in every SIG channel. Ooh, they wanted us to send out a last minute email, which I wanted to send out ASAP, which is now going to be the day that <laughs> registration closes. I also still haven't made another tweet on that. I wanted Today, to isn't it? It's today. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Told you there were a couple things that got dropped here. It's fine. Uh, it's, it's mostly <laughs> my fault because I brought you into this. No, it's all good. Oh, I am happy to help. Oh, Together, God. we're better than one of us alone. Which, as you can see, eh. <laughs> oh, is it going out? It's out. <laughs> So oh, the Slack bot message? Slack bot message Boom. Has sent. Done. Marking that off. On Although it says it was sent on May 10th, which is three days ago. Hmm. Huh. Maybe Josh did it himself. Uh, I don't recall seeing it. I don't think so. Uh, Maybe something is messed up in that automation. <laughs> well, I'm just looking at the doc. Oh. Maybe he wanted it to be sent on May 10th. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it says updated Got date okay. scheduled. I, the sent scheduled thing is very confusing. And mm -hmm. I removed it for some of them. <laughs> All right, so we did that today, May 13th. Happy New Year. Sorry, Year. Happy Josh. Friday the 13th. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, it's in I the Sig Quebec channel if you want to see it. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Um. Okay, so we have a couple other things to do after this meeting. Um, during KubeCon tweets, which we're going to check into again later, <clears throat> we'll uh, check over those when we go through our table of action items. Uh, it's looking very, very good, though. Preview. Um, wanted to add this to the do or die tweet. Last minute tweet is what I'm going to call that. Last minute tweet. <laughs> um, Sig like meet and greet. I've already got tweets for that scheduled in the schedule, though they're not actually complete, but we'll go over that later. Um, Sig like meetings. Those seem to be good to go. And reminder about the no before you go email. I should probably send that tweet out today. I don't know about yes. the meet and greet one. <laughs> we'll see about that as well. <clears throat> I think tweeting anything is fine whenever, right? Like, yeah, pretty much. Even if we've already talked about it, we can tweet again. Yeah. So just as long as it's not like, oh, we just tweeted about this. You know, the last tweet was the same thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Got a good amount of Twitter work to do today. A lot of the stuff around KubeCon has to be done manually by the folks that have access to the Twitter account directly, by the way. Um, which is why our processes around KubeCon tweets are a little bit weird. Also, it's a ton of content, so it needs to have kind of special processes anyway. Um, we do have a GitHub repo with some automation on it that we'd love to use for our tweets. However, it can't do scheduling and it also has issues with links. Um, so that's guess why what, we have to do a lot of Guess what else scheduling. has issues with links? The what? Slack bot. Oh, that's good to know. Why does it have issues with links? I idea it just completely ripped them out oh uh. sub ideal <laughs> friday yeah um, friday the 13th no less anyway <clears throat> i'm gonna start going through the table now <laughs> yeah. thank you kina first things on you <laughs> Can't hear you. Can't You're muted. Okay. Uh, oh. So I did some things 
And then I ended up changing files in my PR that weren't supposed to be changed. So I, I deleted my original, or closed my original. I opened a new one. And if this new one, which should be fine, I think, doesn't go through, I'm going to ask for help because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sounds or I thought good. I knew what I was doing and then I realized I didn't and then now I think I know and then yeah so if this doesn't go through I'll probably ping in slack and say does anyone have hopefully 30 minutes or less to sit with me and screen share and just tell me what I'm typing wrong welcome to github workflows <laughs> But this time That's I was like, I'm not going to do this. Yeah. So this time I decided to do it the easier way. I just did it directly there. No command line. So let's see what happens. My fingers are crossed and I mostly just feel bad that it's taking so long. So sorry about that. <laughs> That's one of the reasons that we like to assign these types of tasks to new folks if they're not too terribly involved because there's even a simple one is not simple <laughs> yeah. so we expected this yeah. to be a learning opportunity and we're glad you have the opportunity to learn <laughs> okay. yeah i saw i was like you've changed some other files and i was like but no i just i changed the sorting and then it was like no no you didn't so that's where i am uh, let's see what happens. Sounds you might good. see a ping for me, but then I also understand that everyone will be traveling. <laughs> so I also we'll don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. You can send the ping anyway, and we'll get to it when we can. We'll it when we can. <laughs> okay. It's the beauty of asynchronous collaboration. Cool. I'm apparently not logged into GitHub right now, so I will How's look that into that later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I had to like restart my machine and stuff recently. So I guess my there you go. cookies were cleared or whatever. <laughs> so then next we have this contributor tip tweet that's just on hold. It's a thing that we should probably do at some point talking about our ability to squash, which started off some interesting discussion. We learned some things about GitHub stuff <laughs> from that already. Um, but maybe after KubeCon, write up a new tweet, though. Folks want to do that now. Did we look into the stuff we were talking about last time? I think Ray was, yeah, Ray was the one who said there's a reason not to use. So I to talked to Tim. Okay. And the argument essentially is like it might take away others contributions but it was really thin right like okay. there was no technical discussion about it right like how it happened or mm -hmm. an alternative solution that is just as easy right okay. like i don't think there's any reason and it's in our docs it's actually in our contributor cheat sheet um i don't see any reason not to talk about it okay right? just based off the five Slack messages he sent me all at once when I mentioned. So why don't you like this? Okay, cool. I forget so you. if anyone wants to take on an action item to use our repo, the automation there to create a tweet about um, this Tidebot command. So we have automation in the Kubernetes um, project within GitHub to help us do a variety of things as we're dealing with GitHub. And this is one thing that the bot can do, which is squash all of your commits into yep. a single one for, for merge. Commit. So, uh, sounded like something someone might be interested in. Mm -hmm. um, this is all your fault, uh, you know. <laughs> um, well, uh, are, are you asking if someone can take a look into, uh, into it? Yep. Everyone? 
Me included? Yeah. Like, just if you would like to take it on. Right? No, <laughs> yeah. Apologies for that because I, honestly, I'm I'm just here to um to to to, to help with whatever uh, is uh, deemed sensible. Uh, I'm, I don't have the biggest uh, understanding on some of the stuff can be like you, you might have to, 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 to have a lot of context and, uh, and knowledge of all the processes. But apart from that, I'm open to, to, to taking a look into whatever is seen as useful. I, I do know GitHub and Git and automation in general. So uh, from a technical perspective, it's not a, a, an issue. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. I didn't want to call you out, but I thought this one might be a good first. Ah, good okay. Fair, perfect. So, but, uh, I sense <laughs> to your energy then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I've assigned that to you in the doc. Um, and you can use the uh, GitHub repo that I linked right there. Oh, there so, you go. Thank you. Yep. I'll put it in the chat as well. Uh, so perfect. What you'll need to do is figure out what you want to say about the squash command and mm -hmm. put that into a tweet. Probably avoid using links if you can, or if you can't, if you do need to use a link, make sure that it fits into the actual size the number of characters in Twitter, because yeah. otherwise our automation it will doesn't fail do you. Link like it, it doesn't yeah. do link shortening. It doesn't do link shortening. Yeah. So okay. be careful of links. I'll put a note. Be careful. Okay. So, uh if I have any doubt, I will most certainly through Slack. Yep. Ask you. you can, uh, so, okay. Yeah, you can uh, ping in, us in, in, the, in the main channel, or you can yeah. either ping us directly or in the main channel. You can do at contributor comms, and then mm -hmm. anyone from this group can help you. Lots of perfect. folks that, in that here think, have well, done this before, so that's <laughs> likely. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, no issue there. Yeah. Um, Thank you. So I'll put a note there as well at contributor comms. And if you go to open an issue, there's actually like new treat request, get started, you click button and off yep. you go. The biggest thing is just like even the yep. link and the hashtags have to fit within 280 characters. Yeah, yeah. Yep. No optimization is done. It's, uh, yeah, exactly. Sadly. Yeah. And we have this really nice workflow where you can actually just create the issue and put the text that you want to put into the tweet in the issue and it'll automatically generate a PR for you. Yeah. So right. it's kind of and simplified. Then I that just way. come in, or Kaslin comes in, or yeah. one of us comes in and just says, "Off you go." Perfect. Yeah. Yep. It's a pretty quick yep. and easy thing. <laughs> Once you get the hang of it. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. I will, I will take a look. Yeah. Sounds great. Uh, the next thing is Rajula's work on uh, looking at Twitter automation. Though currently, actually, this is more like a I don't know steering committee. <laughs> <laughs> task. So like I was saying, our uh, GitHub automation around tweeting has issues, specifically links and scheduling. Yep. We've been looking for solutions to this for a long time. <laughs> yes. And so we've recently decided that a good solution might be Buffer, which is a tool. I, I don't know. It's somehow related it's a to scheduling the scheduling tool, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not related to CNCF okay. at all, actually. Oh, it yeah, that's a, right. It's there was something else that someone mentioned recently that was like a work planning tool that was related. Anyway. <laughs> maybe Sprout Social or something like that. Yeah, but, something like that. Yeah. So yeah. I've, yeah, go ahead. We've created an issue. It's there. You're the one that knows it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need to put in the notes, obviously. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So we have an issue open with the steering committee, basically for um, funding for us to be able to use this tool. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sounds really exciting. And we're expecting to have that probably shortly after KubeCon. So once we yeah. are able to create an account and get access, we'll be working together in this group to learn this new tool and how we'll use it to do tweets. The good news is I've used it for years, so. Chris will be teaching us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll probably still keep our GitHub too. By the way, it's not like it's going to go away. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have this cool additional stuff we could tool. do with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Still stuff we could do, and part of that, like we could take that RSS action thing and feed it into an issue, and yeah, it'd be pretty wild. Yep. So we're very excited about that, and we'll look in on it after KubeCon. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And um, we'll probably need to grab Nigel too, because he's the automation guru. We have like two on the same thing now. Oh, because the first one is actually about blog scheduling, blog mm -hmm. tweet scheduling, which will also be fixed by Buffer. So yes. <laughs> So another thing, another project that we've been trying to get done for a while is to automatically generate tweets when a new blog comes in for the Kubernetes Kates.io blog, as well as the Kates.dev blog, really. Um, just like automatically grab the headline or something and say some canned message, like there's a new blog, go check it out. Um, so we're planning to use Buffer to actually be able to do that. So it solves both problems. I have a Both very elaborate and system of automation yeah. that does all those suggested reads from my Twitter account. And this is, it's based I've around wondered Buffer how you did that. I, I should really actually do an updated article because I had an old article that to told folks how I did it, but I should update it for the now. Writing blog posts is hard. <sighs> when I wrote the one that I just put in chat, like I realized, holy crap, I haven't written anything on my blog in five months. <laughs> Like I should really write more often than that. Uh, it's surprisingly difficult. Anyway, moving on. We're all very excited about Buffer. Role description. I once again did, did nothing. I keep thinking I'm going to spend time on it like that day. And then I keep We should do it that. at the Contributor Summit or the Sig Meet and Greet. That's true. We'll probably do some of it there. Yeah. But also Avinash made some progress this week. Ooh, yes. So Avinash. <laughs> You're unmuted, but we don't hear you. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe the input's wrong. Hmm. Might have to type. I can do typing still. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, but this one is specifically about the Please. community meeting event interface or events role. Avinish? I think we heard you for a second there. <laughs> Agreed, Hina. <laughs> Friday the 13th, indeed. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just type? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Avinash. <laughs> Technical problems on Friday the 13th. Who would have thought? Before KubeCon. <laughs> yeah. So funny story while Avanesh is typing, uh, one of my last assignments every Friday in the military, to be clear, every Friday, something would break like horrifically that would keep me from like doing anything socially on Friday evenings, like for months on end. It was awful. <laughs> that does sound miserable. <laughs> yeah. It was like Friday the 13th, every Friday. Just got to the point where the guys knew they were working late. Sorry. Hmm. And then you came up with a standard canned message to tell the people that you had to go help every Friday to not do things on Friday. <laughs> Basically saying that think, yeah, proper planning prevents piss poor performance, I think was what I told people. <laughs> no, you may not open a ticket and have this done all in one fell swoop on a Friday. Sorry. <laughs> We have other things in the hopper. I'll do a little TLDR of this <laughs> issue that we're talking about right now. While well, Avinash continues typing. Oh, no, there he is. Um, oh. Had a discussion with Paris asking for some pointers about the task. Um, and the task essentially is... Um, kind of being an events interface person for this group, making sure that we're promoting events that are happening internally, like our monthly uh, community meetings, things like that. Um, uh, so Paris shared a couple points, which she'll send to me, yay. And progress, still confused if we should have a new role or continue with the existing. So this is the main point that I wanted to make sure yeah. that we talked about, um, which, Maybe Chris and I will get together on, on Monday while we're at the Contributor Summit, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so in our repo for our group, we have an existing uh, set of roles, I guess, that we aren't really using that effectively. <laughs> and Avinash was saying that there is an existing 
role. Which one was it? The social role? Was that the name of it, Avinash? Um, but it sounded a lot like what he was thinking this events role should be. And so my suggestion was, if you want to build on that role, feel free. Promotion, social Great. promotion. I think that was what we named it. Yeah. So we've had, we originally defined roles for this group and then we didn't really adhere to them. So we've kind of ignored them for like the entire existence of our group, honestly. Um, and now we're trying to figure out how we can bring the concept of roles back in. We've had some really uh, fun and interesting conversations about what roles mean to groups and what they should look like. So we've been meaning to go through and revise what roles we actually have for the group and how we would do shadowing for those roles, how to teach people how to do the things that are needed for our group and then have owners for them. <laughs> um, light owners, not, not like you can only do yeah. these things. That was an important part of our discussion. I think the important um, thing to point out is like, we can create roles, but every role should have a role book. And that role yep. book can be a living document. That's totally fine, right? Like if if we say, okay, project manager, Hina, and we just stub out a role book, that's fine. Hina can put whatever she wants into that role book as part of being a project manager for us, right? Like it, it can And if someone else comes into that role yeah. <laughs> and they want to change stuff up, have at it. Yeah. <laughs> Or add to whatever yeah it's github you know <laughs> and also if you want to help out if someone can't do something that would normally be within their role then we get the work done it doesn't really matter who owns it it's just nice to have a default owner for things mm -hmm. um so my suggestion on this was basically take that existing role and modify it however you want no one's using it right now anyway <laughs> so if you would like to modify it if you would like to remove it and get rid of it completely rewrite it anything you would like to do Avinish is fair game um, Chris and I will get together probably on Monday like I said and go over what roles we currently have maybe write some new role handbooks um, so we'll let you know Avinish if we touch that area and oh yeah and you'll, you'll see it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I fully intend to be like very open about this. Yeah. If we work on it in a doc, we'll tag you. If we work on it on GitHub, you'll be tagged. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about teamwork. We want to make make these something that's useful. <laughs> Our main goal with defining roles is again, partially to have that default person. If we have a new task that comes up, we have someone who we already know is familiar with those types of tasks. That's really mm -hmm. useful. And I think more importantly is to be able to help new folks who want to join our group to have something to own and have work to do um, by shadowing these different types of roles. So one of our main goals with defining these is creating shadowing opportunities. Yes. Uh, and that's something we'll be working on. So we'll move on to the next thing. Um, tweet about feature blogs that come out. Oh no. <laughs> I haven't done that this week. I was so good about it last week. Yeah, you um, were. I totally forgot there were feature blogs coming out this week too. Uh, yeah. Uh, Usually they always come out the week of the release. How many were there? Good Lord. I thought there was like a lot. They're going to be going on all month. They're going to be going on throughout KubeCon. So I need to like, we need to schedule them. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. Lord. Which is going to take a significant amount of effort. We might actually just want to do it also at the contributor summit. We need to make a contributor summit work. Items list yeah, like that should go at the top of it. We would love to ask for you all's help in this, but again, it's scheduling tweets, which our current automation can't do. Once we have buffer, this will be fixed. <laughs> uh, and, you know, to be honest, it's one of those things where it's like, if it has to be a reminder in my calendar or something, that's fine too. All right. Yeah. Like I can go manually hit merge. Uh, you had have been doing really, really well with that. <laughs> daily reminder. Yeah. I actually need to change it to my real reminders app as opposed to to do us just to make sure I get it every day. I'm gonna ping you later on Slack with things that we need to do at Contributor Summit. What have we got so far? Role reviews and uh, feature blogs, tweets. Mm -hmm. Role reviews. Tweets. I'm writing it on a post-it note. Blog tweets. Okay, so we'll come back to that. <laughs> um, 
It's also going to require extra effort, by the way, I want to mention while we're talking about it, because we have to go in and find the drafts and then find out what the link for the blog will be if we want to go ahead and schedule these because they're not actually out yet. So there isn't actually a link to them, but there will be, which we can find if we put in a little elbow grease mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and we can actually schedule them all, which will be nice, but it will take extra effort. Um. We need to get more owners on that account, I feel like. Yeah, that's true. We definitely need to do that, which is part of the shadowing work that we're going to yeah. be working on. So. Um, or Bob needs to approve tweet next. or Buffer. Buffer, yeah. And then we just. Which I expect to be done shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I assigned it to him. I think he's traveling today or yesterday. Yeah, or that's how, how it goes. But yeah, uh, I assigned it to him. He said once there was something, it would get approved. So, yeah. Here's the plan. We go to the Contributor Summit, attend the steering AMA, mm-hmm. and just bring up that issue. <laughs> Could y'all just go ahead and pay for this? Like right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the steering committee AMA is for, right? right. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to move on from that. We'll figure out more about that later. Um, there is actually something that people could help with there, but we have 10 minutes. I'm going to run through the rest of these. <laughs> yeah. If you're at the, if you're at the KubeCon contributor summit, I just saw Avanish's text, please come, please help. We, yeah, totally. <laughs> the training will occur. Um, review repo, look into adding description of what roles mean and new roles. We kind of already discussed that. KubeCon. Um, <laughs> KubeCon EU tweet spreadsheet. So I mentioned this already. Uh, Go to the spreadsheet that's linked there, not the issue. What is that issue? Oh, yeah, that's right. We did. Thank you, Tarva, again, for creating that issue. Are we burying ourselves in docs and issues now? Uh, Not too bad, I don't think. Okay, just making sure. Um, (laughs) But anyway, so the tweets are actually mostly done. Usually if there are empty spaces and there are always empty spaces, I go in and just fill those in as I uh, schedule the tweets, which has to be done manually. Chris, you offered to help probably call that in. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I need to do this today. So uh, I'll work with you on that. Two more meetings today. Nice. And this is the wrong color. Canceled too. So perfect. They both, though, actually, they both might get canceled. Let me double check. Nice. I might the main thing that time. needs to be done still in terms of the tweets that need to be scheduled is the meet and greet reminder. Garima was willing to do that for us, who's one of the folks who's been helping out with the tweets. Um, but it's been a little tricky. I plus in Josh because he offered to do it. And then he saw that someone else was willing to do it. And he's like, yay, someone else doing it, <laughs> which is totally understandable. And now she's asking a question about what to put in it. I don't think there are any in particular. <laughs> Jill respond to right now because I didn't do that last night. Um, I think she's in India. So it's late. Time so we might have to do those ourselves. Apologies to Karima. I will send her our apologies in Slack. Um, but she did a few other tweets as well, which are in lovely shape. So okay. she got to do some stuff. Um, but anyway, so there's like 10 tweets maybe total left that are not done out of like 40. So <laughs> we will get those scheduled today. We are mm-hmm. in good shape. Um uh, next thing, GitHub repo, contributor comms name in progress. There's an issue for that, isn't there? Or Yeah, I've got an open yeah. issue. Uh, well, yeah, I do because I have the... Here to have not added that into the notes, so... <laughs> uh, let's see. New Slack channel, new... Oh, gosh, where did I put the issue? Is there a way to... Can... Uh, it's not notifications. Like I want to see all the issues I've created. Also, Avinesh offered to help with the unwritten tweets. If you'd like to, feel free to, at this point, go ahead and take over the owner's column. At the beginning, I say to take ones that are not claimed, but at this point, we need to get them done. So if you want to claim any of the ones that are unwritten, 
just go ahead and put yourself in owners and take them over. Um, and we'll try to do that a little bit later today. Yeah, Atarva, same goes for you. You are most welcome. <laughs> I was going to write that. I was in the middle of writing it. Now I've said it, so we'll move on from that. Uh, if you could find the link to that issue on the contributor comms name, <laughs> that's another thing for us to do at the contributor summit. <laughs> I, know, I, know. It's... I apologize. I haven't done that it's last fine. week. I... It's the way it goes. It's a mad dash. Let's see. Um, oh, I'm going to move on from that though, while you find the issue, because yes. we've got five minutes left. Uh, Parnaswar wants to write a SIG spotlight again. I will explain this. Uh, ongoing project for folks who are unfamiliar with it. So a SIG Spotlight is, it's this ongoing project that we've had basically since our group's inception, where we try to interview the chairs of a special interest group within Kubernetes and learn about what their SIG does, what exciting new things they have going on, what kinds of help they need. And we take that interview and we convert it into a blog post for the kubernetes.io blog. Um, it takes a good amount of time uh, because you have to do that interview. So it's either setting up the interview so that you can do it in person, but we recommend doing it asynchronously in like a Google doc or something. There are some examples of that in our GitHub repo. So there are example questions you can use to ask the chairs and all of that. I am generally the mentor for those SIG Spotlight uh, posts. Pernaswar is planning to do one, like we said, uh, after KubeCon, he's probably going to start on that. So if anyone else would like to, we'll talk about it again after KubeCon. We shouldn't start it right now. Um, but if you join us again after KubeCon, you can, that is also an open action item that anyone can take over. Hint, hint, Frederica, in case you'd be interested in that kind of thing. <laughs> well, I, I, I will get back to you uh, after KubeCon. Certainly, yep. that's, uh, that, that seems like a lovely opportunity as well to even to interact and network with other people and to learn more about the, the other six. Yep. I love that our folks have an opportunity to learn about the rest of the Kubernetes project like that. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, have issue. Yay. Is there... Thank you. Put that in here. Ah, My computer right. just ground okay. to a halt all of a sudden. <laughs> and yet your video is still fine. I know. That says something about the robustness of your video setup. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we only have two more things in the list. Super weird that the release webinar is right after KubeCon. We need to schedule a tweet about that as well. <laughs> Um, and then there was another request from someone who came into our meeting a few weeks ago named Harshita, and she had created a Katakoda hands-on tutorial thing, um, and she was asking for our feedback on it. We haven't had the capacity to actually provide that feedback, sadly, but if anyone would like to, Frederico, again, if you would like a task, <laughs> um, what you would need to do is go to this link and check out the Katakoda that Harshita made yeah. and any feedback send directly to Harshita on Slack using this app. Yeah, okay. Would you like to take that on? I might, uh, I, <laughs> is the Katakoda around? Uh, I, I, have, um, I just want to, 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 to be sure that I'm actually a good person to, to understand the, what was done. Newbie you know, perspectives are welcome. <laughs> Hey, give me one second. Yeah, I don't like, I, I guess I do have a Katakoda account, but each time I click on this link, it's like, you need to log in. And then I don't. So yeah, I haven't actually I, looked I at have the material. True O'Reilly. <laughs> yeah, but you, you, but you can assign it to me. Yeah. Uh, oh. Worst case scenario, I will come back and, and pass to you with uh, <laughs> without, yeah. but uh, I will most, most certainly take the, the next week to, to go through it. We appreciate that. And worst case, if you don't do it, we'll come back to it later. <laughs> That's how these yeah. things go. They either get done or they come, or they either get done, they fall off the bandwagon and we never see them again, or they come back to us and we do them eventually. Yeah. It's the, the, <laughs> an, an eternal golden braids. <laughs> exactly. So much appreciated, Frederica. <laughs> Most welcome. Also open to anyone else. Yeah. Uh, Avinash, you mentioned you're welcome. You're, you're interested in assisting. 
So I'll put your name on there as well to check in with you. Multiple people going through this will just be helpful. Um, uh, because like a variety of perspectives on, uh, on that material and giving feedback will be helpful. We only have a minute left. Chris is adding marketing team to contributor comms rename. Thank you. <laughs> I was thinking that that was missing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we mentioned this last week, I think we are working on renaming our group from upstream marketing team to contributor comms in Slack where contributor comms, we're technically the Kubernetes upstream marketing contributor comms team. <laughs> so we're just getting rid of the upstream marketing part. <laughs> um, so we're working on that and we'll be working on that at, uh, KubeCon. And we're at time. So just last minute. Any other things that folks want to go over before we stop the recording? Thank you so much for joining the oh, podcast. Sorry. <laughs> ah, confused with what the marketing council is. That is what we reworked our roles into basically. So Chris and I have been on this team since it was created by Paris in 2020. And at that time, Paris had a wonderful grand vision for what this group would be. We had um, just a few folks on it, me, Chris, and, uh, oh gosh, why? Harris, Matt. Matt, Jason. thank you. <laughs> yeah. These meetings are at 8 a.m. for me. Mm. Um, <laughs> now it's 9 a.m. though. I don't have an excuse. Um, <laughs> so it was mainly me, Chris, and Matt for the last couple of years, and, and Rajula and, um, Oh gosh, I can't do names right now. We had a couple Evanish, of other folks. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of folks that have been here before. But... Yeah, have been kind of cycling through. But at one point in 2021, it kind of ended up just being uh, me, Chris, Matt, and Rajula pretty much all the time. Um, and we weren't really adhering to the roles that we had originally defined for the group. So we changed our directory to just call ourselves the marketing council because we were just the people who were always on the meeting. <laughs> Honestly, so that's what the marketing council is. It's me and Chris and Matt, who is not a part of our group anymore, and uh, Rajula, who's been busy lately, but he's still a very important part of our group. Yeah. Um, the... Just trying to get our work done without having roles spin yeah, and specifically that was Matt's assigned to us. Kind of answer before he took off to go be a dad. So, yeah, since we weren't really adhering to what was in the GitHub repo, that was yeah. how he reorganized it for us. So that's what it is. And we'll be getting rid of that probably to bring the roles back <laughs> now that we actually have a lot more folks who join in regularly. And we have a lot of new folks who join in regularly, which is wonderful. <laughs> yes. All right. With that, I'm going to go ahead and stop our recording. Uh, uh, stop recording. Thanks so much, everyone.